This video is for section 8.5, day 2. I split this lesson into two days so that we can thoroughly understand how to factor a trinomial. So let's take a look at example 4. The area of a rectangle is given by the trinomial x squared minus 2x minus 35. What are the possible dimensions of this rectangle? Use factoring. So if you can recall, a couple of sections ago, we actually learned how to find the area of a rectangle given the dimensions. And hopefully you're realizing now that we're actually doing the same problem in the reverse order. So this time we're given the area and we don't know the dimensions. Um, so that means we need to use the x method that we learned yesterday. What we want to do is find the pair of factors of negative 35 that have a sum of negative 2. So first thing that I want to do is write the x and take the negative 35, put it up top. We want to multiply two numbers to get negative 35 and take the negative 2 and put it on the bottom and we're going to add two numbers to get negative 2. Let's use the box at right to organize our information and let's talk about the factors of negative 35. Okay, I always like to start with 1, so 1 and negative 35. Um, the signs of these numbers, it has to be uh, 1 positive and 1 negative, and the reason why is because we need to multiply to get a negative 35, so that must be one of each. Um, now let's change the negatives up and keep the same numbers, though. And then the other factors of 35 are 5 and 7, so let's do 5 and negative 7 and negative 5 and positive 7. Now let's add them. So 1 plus negative 35 equals negative 34. The number that we're looking for here is negative 2, right here. Um, negative 1 plus 35 is positive 34. 5 plus negative 7 is negative 2. And negative 5 plus 7 is positive 2. Which one of those is negative 2? This pair right here. So 5 and negative 7 are our winners. So take those two numbers, put the set of parentheses down, the variable that is in this problem is x, and then we're just going to rewrite the 5 and the negative 7. So those are the numbers that work, and our dimensions of this rectangle are x plus 5 and x minus 7, which is the numbers that we got right here. And that completes example four. Now, in the last example of section 8.5, you are going to realize that now we have two variables. This is why I did not show this one yesterday, because you need more time to think about it. We have a trinomial with two variables. We have x and y. Now, do not get scared. We can do this. Um, the first thing that we want to do is figure out pairs of negative 55 that multiply to get that number that add to get 6. So we're still using the x method. So take the negative 55 and put it up top and we're multiplying two numbers to get negative 55. And take the 6 and we're going to add those two numbers to get 6. So basically what's going to happen is we're having an x and a y in both spots. What we wanted to do is figure out which numbers go in these spots right here. That's all we're doing by using the x method. So now let's write down the factors of 55 and also let's talk about the signs. They must be a positive and a negative just like last example because the 55 is a negative number. So in order to get a negative you must multiply a positive and a negative together. So, 1 and negative 55, negative 1 and positive 55. Other factors are 5 and negative 11, and negative 5 and positive 11. Now we want to add those and hope to get positive 6. 1 plus negative 55 equals negative 54. That does not work. 1, negative 1 plus 55 equals positive 54. That is not 6. 5 plus a negative 11 is negative 6. That's not a positive 6. Look right here. It's a positive 6. 
And lastly, negative 5 plus 11 is positive 6. We got our winner. Take the negative 5 and the 11, put it in the x spots, the blank spots in the x. Now take the negative 5 and put them in the blank spots of the set of parentheses. And that's all we have to do. So you realize that there was really no difference between this problem and the previous ones, except that we had the y's in the end. So this is the factored form of the original trinomial. You can pat yourself on the back. We did a harder problem with two variables, and we also did an application problem dealing with area of a rectangle, and that completes today's material. It's a nice shorter lesson. Hopefully you'll take time to reflect upon today's material and yesterday's, and come up with any questions you have and ask me them tomorrow. Make sure you try the day one lesson check for sure, and also you can try day two if you feel comfortable. And I will see you soon.